Hello everyone and welcome to Whitfield Lane. So today I'm going to show you how I did my static grass embankment. This was my first attempt using the ProGrass Precision Applicator from WWS. So I'm just going to quickly show you how I did it. The grass I'll be using today is the Patchy 2mm, also the Patchy 4mm and also the Dead 4mm. Uh, I'll also be using the Basin Glue and the Static Grass Laying Spray. Just to prep the area before, I just painted it with an acrylic brown red. This was just in case any of the uh, base showed through once I applied the static grass. But in all honesty, once I applied the grass, nothing really showed through on the base, so it's not really necessary. Before I started this embankment, there were a couple of areas where I just tested out the static grass. Around these relay boxes, I used the 4mm dead. And then on the disused line, I just used three different types of grasses, sort of just uh, mixed them in in different layers just to see what they look like. As you can see in this video, there are some additional bushes and some flowers. These are easily purchased off of eBay. Uh, you should be able to see in the video where they're from. Uh, these lupins and foxes come in various colours and I also got some additional bushes and some grass tufts. So first up we've got the basing glue, this is the first thing we need to apply to the base. You need to put uh, quite a bit on and I did fine with this very first layer. You need to get plenty of glue down, just make sure it's all spread around and you can cover all the areas where you need to do the static grass. So once we made sure the glue is spread around, we can now start on the very first layer of grass. So I'm going to be using the patchy 2mm. Okay, so once we've done the first base layer, I'm now going to look at layering. So I'm now going to be using the static grass layering spray. You 
you need to be careful which area you're going to spray. In this case, I'm just going to use a couple of pieces of wood just to make sure that I get the spray actually on the area that I'm working on. So for the second layer, I'm going to be using the patchy 4mm grass. So once this second layer is finished and while the glue is still wet so what I'm going to now next do is just sort of rough up some areas just to make some natural tufts. So once I was happy with the area, it was time to get out the layer and spray again. So now the area is sort of roughed up, I'm going back to the very first grass I use, which is the patchy 2mm. Okay, so that's the third layer of static grass I've done now. So I'm gonna look at doing a fourth layer. Again, just gonna be really careful here, just using a couple of pieces of old wood just to protect the areas where I don't want to spray. Uh, just be careful when you do this and just make sure you don't overspray any areas, otherwise you'll end up with static grass going everywhere. So 
So for the four flare, I'm going to be using the dead four mil grass. So as you can see the embankment is now starting to take shape you'll all notice there are some white residue from the glue but within an hour this will disappear and dry uh, and then just get a little brush and just tidy up any sort of loose grass that may be along the edge and next up i'll just get uh, my little hoover out and just hoover up any sort of loose grass So the final touch is now just to add some bushes and some wildflowers. This bit I quite find enjoying. That's quite satisfying just to sort of add some bushes here and there. What I tend to do is add just the odd few here and there, walk away, come back and have a quick look if I'm not happy with it and then just add some more and just do slowly small amounts at a time. So next I'm using these wild flowers which are lupins or foxgloves. I've gone for two natural colours that will tend to be seen in the wild or on embankments. And again I just add these in sort of odd little places. Again I go away, come back, if I'm not happy I sort of add some additional ones but do them in small amounts. So once I've planted the wild flowers and the bushes I noticed the two areas either side of the bushes looked a little bit low so I decided to give it another layer of grass using the layering spray again. I came back and used some 4 mil dead grass.
so I hope everyone enjoyed uh, watching me do my very first embankment. So this was my first attempt on this sort of area. I'm hoping to do some more embankments. I also do have some more yellow and white flowers on order. So I may come back and revisit this area and just sort of do some touching up. But uh, thank you for watching. Uh, take care, guys, and see you soon.